Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on action groups. Now, it is actually pretty pretty easy and very nice, these action groups. Action groups give you the ability to set up a hotkey that actually does a few actions uh, in relation to your hotkey. You know, like, I don't know, for example, when you're playing a strategic game, you can highlight all your units, put control 1, and every time you hit 1, all your units get highlighted. Well. This is something along those lines, but obviously you can set that one key to do different stuff. So now for a good example, I'm going to just put down an unmanned pod with a small tank and a tiny engine. And we will rotate this. Hold on. Okay, so we can see it nicely and we will stick that there now. Let's go to our action groups panel. Hold on before we do that. Let's stick something on. So, for example, this is my tiny, tiny mini ship. <clears throat> and what do action groups do? So, I'm going to have a landing gear and I'm going to have lights. Okay. Let's say I'm going to have lights. I'm going to have a landing gear light here. Let's move this a little bit back. stick the light on the actual landing gear and then let's have two lights on top I think it's in sync yeah it's not parallel so we'll make it single this is just to give you an example of what uh, command actions do now we're gonna go to action group you have stage gear lights RCS SAS what you can do you can bind your gears to do anything you'd like them to do so what I'm going to do, for example, every time I'm going to hit my gear button, it means when my gear goes up or down, I'm going to make it light up my landing light. Only this light, not this one, just this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my gear. I'm going to hold Alt, click my landing gear, and then I'm going to click my landing gear light. And you see it pops up here. So what I wanted to do on uh, the small, uh, uh, what do you call it, the gear bay, it already has the lights on. So I can put two good lights and the raise and lower gear. So that's pretty much it. So what I'm going to do now is launch. And this is uh, binded to my gear, okay? So now, when I hit my gear button, hold on, gear goes up, gear goes down, and you see it lights. Gear goes down, it lights. Gear goes up, it switches off. Gear goes down, it lights. So that, that, that's pretty cool in case you would like to bind just this light to the landing gear. Of course, you can do various stuff. Let's end the flight. For example, you know, I would like a hotkey that... Uh, what do you call it? That uh, does all my solar panels. That's, that's pretty famous, especially when you do have a larger, larger station. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's stick our solar panels on. Well, no, let's stick, I don't know, the Gigantor ones. And uh, let's stick as many as we can on the damn thing. Okay. And then action group. We're going to stick this action group to custom one. It means to custom num number one on your keyboard. You have one, two, all the way till ten. You can customize them. So one, and I can select just this one. And you see it automatically highlights a bunch of them. Not, not all, but a bunch of them. See, if I click again, it makes them all blue. Now, a quicker way around this is uh, Alt and left, uh, Alt and left click. It highlights them all. Okay. Now I have them all selected in blue. So what I'm going to do is toggle panels. That means extend and retract. Okay. You can obviously just make it extend, and you can obviously just make it retract. Toggle means extend and retract both. It means if you just, for some reason, you might have a custom key, you want to make a custom key that only switches on the lights, or that only raises the gear, or that, I don't know, only, I don't know, uh, activates the brakes, that doesn't deactivate and activate. You understand? If you just want it a, a one way, you can do that as well. Toggle uh, does both. So you always, pretty much whenever you select anything, there's a toggle option, and then there's an activate, deactivate option. So with the one button, I hit one, it, uh, it opens them up, I hit one again, it closes them. So this is it. All I have now, I have them all linked to my uh, single uh, 
button now of course again remember you can like specifically choose which one so if I go to my action groups and I go to my custom one I can uh, if you want to cancel the stuff that you did you always hit the arrow it means if I have a bunch of shit lined up that I wanted to do if you hit the arrow you cancel that and it vanishes so let's say I only want to do this one hold on a second now the thing is because I do have them in a combination they all toggle automatically okay now, if I do highlight, they vanish for some reason. So technically now, I just selected one, so I can toggle the panels. And no, actually it, it does select them all automatically, because I do have them as a group. So, if I do want to just, let's say, toggle a few panels, what I'm going to have to do is go back, go to my actual... Damn it. Hold on. go to my actual solar panels and for example I'm gonna have a double gigantor panels up here and then I'm gonna have these two on uh, this side like that now I'm gonna go to my action groups now number one I'm gonna make it my gigantor panels so I'm gonna select my gigantor panels it does highlight them always make sure you have them highlighted in blue yeah so when I select toggle panel just make sure they're both highlighted sometimes it doesn't highlight them all because it also depends on how what type of grouping you put so if I have them in different groupings, so for example if I have let's say eight panels on but I did it in two by two by two by two groups it'll only select the two so you got to manually select them all okay so custom one will open and close the gigantor custom two I'll select these, we'll again open and close my other ones, so I'll launch it now. The same principle applies to anything, you can engage, disengage an engine. You can, while I do my RCS button, I can engage my gear and engage my lights. You know, you can pretty much do what you want. So number one opens my Gigantor panels and number two opens my other panels. See, this is separate, in case I want them separately. So then I'll hit number two. I'll just close my top panels and then I'll hit number one and I'll close my bottom panel. So that's uh, pretty pretty straightforward here. Now a lot of this uh, stuff can be used pretty pretty usefully in terms of uh, having a landing sequence. So for example, while I'm landing, I want uh, the engine to disengage, I want it to, uh, uh, what do you call it, to put on my lights and I want it to lower my landing gear. You know what I mean? So what we're going to do is here. Uh, just for testing purposes let me just create another sub i'm gonna throw my thing so it doesn't throw me out so what we're gonna do i'm gonna make a command uh, let's say number seven it'll disengage my engine it'll uh, lower my landing gear okay and it'll uh, also increase uh, it'll switch on my landing lights okay how about that so here we go and then i'll also put on my lights as well okay so now again i'll go to action groups I'll select one. Okay, now what I'll do is hit the engine, shut down engine. Remember, toggle is on and off. Oh, no, no. I'll just put shut down engine. Okay. Or I can keep it as toggle, you know, because like that, it means toggle means it'll switch it off the first time and then on the second time. So I can do this. I can push this button when I'm landing and when I'm taking off. Actually, let's do that. So I'll toggle the engine and then I'll have the landing gear toggle the legs as well it means on and off and then the lights and then I'll toggle the lights as well so this is all for number one okay now let's launch it so for example I'm heading in for landing what I'm gonna do now is uh, since I am bound to the actual thing I'm gonna increase the speed let's say and I am going I'm coming in I'm coming into the moon and now instead of doing all this stuff manually and having a headache and I'm completely lost and confused and there's so much shit going on all I do is hit number one lights go on landing gear comes on engine shuts off you know and I could also hit hit the actual parachute as well and now when I'm taken off I could hit one it, it should engage my engine puts my landing gear up and switches the lights off so there you go lights are off this and everything is gone so this is in a way you can make a landing sequence so it's pretty cool it's it's really useful in case uh, you do want to enjoy watching your space shuttle instead of dealing with a lot of stuff you just uh, pretty much shortcut the keys to what you want them to do now again we go to action groups and you can pretty much bind anything to everything you can make the board sequence bind you can make the brakes it means when I hit brakes I don't know uh, you can make it uh, engage your your uh, actually that that's pretty cool for for uh, you can say the 
the, the airplane. So for example, if you have an airplane, let's exit this. This is actually a cool idea. I just thought of this now. So for example, let's say you do have an airplane and you're landing with the airplane and the airplane's huge, okay? The airplane's really massive and uh, you are having difficulty braking. So what you could do, you can make, uh, when, when you hit the ground and you're, you're gonna start to hit your brakes, what you could do, obviously this is a tiny, tiny plane, this is just for uh, you know, just for example purposes so we do have that landing gear and your landing gear hits the ground what you could do is this is just I'm giving you all all types of ideas what you can use this for now because my plane is huge and the runway is so small and I just want to land let's say in a couple of meters so what I could do is I could bind my brakes to a burner that's burning the opposite way that further breaks my actual airplane so let's go to my burner you know and this one you see burns that way so what I'm gonna do is toggle my brakes to start up my my burner as you see it's burning the opposite way and my engine is going this way obviously the plane is gonna be substantially bigger this isn't uh, that damn small but uh, that that's pretty much the idea that I'm throwing here so hold on we will put this there and again remember uh, unfortunately now you can't have like a dead uh, dead staging area so you're gonna have to move the booster far far away okay to the top staging area so now what we're gonna do is go to the action groups I'm gonna go to the brakes okay when I hit the brakes I want it to toggle my uh, booster toggle engine with the booster you don't have a choice of going on and off it only goes uh, on okay so maybe that's not a good idea come to think about it so let's get rid of our booster you know let's just put on uh, what do you call it? Let's let's actually activate our mini mini sized jets that burn the opposite way. This should help us slow down. Okay, so that's a pretty cool way. So our so our plane is flying in and we need to slow down, so we need a little bit of opposite force to help us break. Okay, so let's go to our action groups. You're gonna have again brakes. Brakes will uh toggle obviously the, the actual brakes. Okay, brakes come on. Okay, and then you're gonna have the engines, both of them get highlighted, and you're gonna have two wheel engines on, and I'm gonna have this engine shut down. So the main engine's gonna shut down, my brakes are gonna come on, and these engines are gonna switch on. So main engine off, brakes will be on, and these these forward engines will switch on to further break our actual, uh, what do you call it? To further break our actual, you can say speed. So of course, if this is a big plane, sometimes you might want to use such methods. You know, this is just to give you an example of what you can use this for. So, let's give it a go. This is brakes. So well, let's start up the engines. Well, let's actually jettison the damn thing first. You know, activate engine. Okay. No shit. I did it the opposite way around. Okay, hold on. And I was wondering what the hell was wrong with that. Okay, that was the opposite way around, so there we go, there we go, okay, pretty much the same thing, let's just recheck our action group, it's still there, brakes, yeah, gears, it means the switches are off, shuts down the main engine and then toggles that, okay, great, so here we go. So our massive plane, obviously a huge plane, is coming in for landing this way, and we are going at full speed. Okay, and we do want to brake, so what we're gonna do is hit one, hit the brakes, sorry, where is it? Hit the brakes, and as you see, our side engines came on. Okay, let's go back to the hangar, let's stop it from shooting up. Let's move this one up. And as you noticed, only one of them came on. So we do need to toggle the other one as well. So brakes, engines, engines, and engines. This is shutdown engine. Activate engine. Okay, great. Launch. Now we 
we're going full speed and all I'm gonna do is hit brakes and it'll give me the opposite hit the brakes and it'll give me the opposite so it does break my actual ship well this is it for uh, this tutorial in terms of using your action groups you can pretty much do anything you have 10 keys which is great more than enough you can uh, bind any of these lights to do various things it means the lights can switch on and off an engine it can switch on a specific engine now keep in mind if you're building them in, in, in groups or pairs or quads as you see now and uh, let's say the space shuttle and you select that item it pretty much selects that group of items so for example if I go to my hangar and I make a, and I actually make a building of I don't know, let's say um, let's say if I make a building of uh, where are the engines? If I make a building of eight, as you see here, it'll it'll select all eight. So for example, if you wanted to select only first two and not the other two, you're gonna have to make a different grouping. You're gonna have to maybe make it a two 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 and individually separately. Uh, drop them down so if you go to my action groups and let's say I want to select the engines all of them select so you see there you go so if you have them in se separate uh, uh, separate groupings you're gonna have to select all the different types of groupings okay so that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed it as always don't forget to give it a thumbs up happy gaming and see you guys around bye